Chapter 1 Ratio and Proportion Ratio and proportion are probably the most commonly used mathematical concepts in our day-to-day -day lives. Real-life applications of ratio and proportion are numerous and range from preparing recipes, painting houses, to repairing gears in a large machine or in a car transmission. Prerequisites to understand this chapter, you are expected to be familiar with Basics of Addition and Subtraction Basics of Multiplication and Division Cross Multiplication and Simplification Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be familiar with the method to compute and compare two ratios The effect of increase or decrease of a quantity on the ratio the concept and application of various types of ratios. The meaning of proportion. Properties of proportion and how to use them. Introduction to Ratio Ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities of the same kind in the same units and expressed in the most simplified form. What do we mean by quantities of the same kind? Consider a bag having 5 kilograms of apple and a bottle having 2 liters of water. Are these quantities of the same kind? Of course not. This is because there is no way in which we can compare the weight of apples with the volume of water because they are measured on different scales. Now let us consider two boys, Ram and Shyam. Let Ram weigh 45 kgs and let Shyam weigh 57 kgs. Can the weights of both the boys be considered quantities of the same kind? Certainly. This is because we can compare the weights of the two boys. Let us take the example of your own CPT class. If there are 15 girls and 20 boys in your class, then the fraction Number of girls by number of boys is the ratio of number of girls is to number of boys in your class. Ratio is always expressed in the most simplified form and hence the fraction 15 by 20 on simplification is equal to 3 by 4. Therefore, the ratio of number of girls to number of boys in your class is 3 is to 4. The first term of a ratio is called the antecedent and the second term is called the consequent.